All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today, our topic I'm just going to answer about the Catholic. And you know, each time I speak about the Catholic, and I am not a Catholic because I don't agree to put the Catholic down and call them names and to lie about them. Even some people, because they are, I don't know, weird, they go and they delete their donation from or donating to me. Let me tell you something. You donate, you do, do not. Please, everyone who don't like what I say, go and take your donation off. All of you. I am not for sale. And your dollar cannot buy me. In order to get your donation, I have to call the Catholic names. I have to lie about them. That is in your dreams. You are being a foolish and you are stupid and you are not a Christian why do the Catholic worship the Pope where in God you found that the Catholic worship the Pope you liar but this is not the words they themselves they said it is a lie repeated all over and they just copy and paste nobody want to investigate himself what really the Catholic is about I am NOT a Catholic I don't want to be a Catholic and I think the Catholic have some wrong teaching however not only them they have some wrong teaching many other churches they do if the Catholic they have a wrong teaching for me as an example pictures and statues and etc but the Orthodox they have the same and the Protestant they have their own wrong practice too however Wrong practice is different from wrong ideology and belief. For all of us, we do wrong. And all of us, we are sinners. And nobody is perfect. If we are perfect, Jesus will not even come to this earth. And he will not come to save us, for we are saved already. He came to this earth because we need to be saved which means we are sinners. So let us put in mind, all of us, we are discussing about sinners, including you and me. And this is something that people always forget, that nobody, starting from me, ending with you, going through the Pope, going through anyone, is not a sinner. So this, the discussion is between sinner about sinners. But the funny, when people they discuss about sinners, they forget that they themselves are sinners. And they expect perfection from the sinners when they themselves they are not perfect. <clears throat> are we listening? So today we are going to answer some questions. You know, I'd like to hear the question here, like why the Catholic worship the Pope? This is a false, this is a big fat lie. The Pope himself, the Pope himself, he confesses every Sunday and he asks God for forgiveness. That is a big lie. But as I said, they copy-paste. There is a gentleman, or I don't know, a lady, I'm not sure, post this. I am an ex-Catholic and I know Catholic pray to Mary asking for her intercede for them before God and the Messiah they even pray to Saint Anne, Saint uh, uh, Mary mother what more uh, the other saint so my friend CP is you are wrong we are supposed to be for truth should be ignorant if you do not if I if you do not uh, believe Go and ask a practicing Catholic. I like it, this practicing Catholic. What did scripture say about talking to the dead? None of the Bible character talk or prayed to their, to their dead. Only King Shaul did. I, I will answer all of this because this is really funny. First of all, what is the Catholic prayer to Mary? Anyone knows? Just help me, help me. What is the prayer the Catholic they do to Mary? Can somebody help? What is the famous prayer?
Who knows? Hail Mary. <laughs> Just to show you how ignorant those people, Hail Mary is exist in the Bible. This is not a prayer for the Catholic. This is from, from the Bible, my friend. This is what the angels said to Mary. The Catholic, they are just repeating what the angels said to Mary. <clears throat> as simple as that. But because you are ignorant, you do not know how to read your Bible, you thought they are making, creating a prayer. Read with me. If you are an ignorant person, read with me. And the angels came into her and said, Hail, thou art highly favored, the Lord with thee, blessed are thou among the women. Do you see it? And then they add, pray for us, we are the sinners. Pray for us. You see, they are not praying to Mary as God. They are asking Mary to pray for them. Why people lie? Anyone here will say, this church is a true church. I will, I will ban you. I'm not here to say who is true and who is wrong. I am here just to say, or to answer lies Catholic Protestant Orthodox all of you are Christians and no priest will save you if you follow the Pope you are stupid if you follow a priest in the in the in the Christian Church the, the the Protestant Church you are stupid if you follow a bishop in an Orthodox Church you are stupid there's only one Savior his name is the Messiah <clears throat> I am here just to answer the lies. Some people they kept copy paste. Now we go back to what this gentleman or this lady said. I think it's a, it's a man because he said he have a girlfriend. Something I don't know. Let us see. Hmm. Okay. What he spoke about that. Uh, uh, what does what did the scriptures speak about talking to the dead who said to you they are dead this is what you believe that they are dead the bible confirm that when the messiah was resurrected a lot of saints resurrected with him Before we go and talk about the saint and the dead, <clears throat> here you just said they ask her to intercede. So how you say they ask her to intercede, yet you claim they are praying to her? Don't you, Protestant, Orthodox, Catholic, all of you say, pray for me? Pray for me. So what does that mean? Are you, if I say to if I say to you now, guys, pray for me. That's mean you are God and I worship you. I pray that you pray for me. I pray that you pray for me. <laughs> you know what, guys? I'm saying. <clears throat> I pray that you pray for me. Does that mean you are my God? All of us, we ask each other to pray for each other. Yeah, you know, when you speak to a Catholic, you say, I am a Christian, because this is based on the language. You see, if you if you go to the Middle East, as an example, and you say, I am a Messihi, the Catholic will not say to you, which is sect, but because in the West, the word the Christian became a word for the Protestant and the word Catholic became the name of the Catholic. But it is wrong because the Bible called all of us Christians. All right? Now, we continue. Where is the intercession is coming from? 
the Catholic they look at the story in the Bible where Mary she asked Jesus to make the miracle of the wine the miracle of the wine in that miracle <clears throat> Mary she asked the Messiah to do something and that thing is about making wine in the wedding this is the first miracle the Messiah or written about the Messiah in the Bible which means she intercede for the people in that wedding so the Catholic they say well obviously the Messiah even though it is not his time yet and it is not a miracle really it's really needed just because Mary she asked for it he did what she want it is their understanding you do not need to agree however they are not doing sin all right they are not doing sin talking to the dead the Bible confirm in many places that saints or many of them are not dead so it is you who decide who they are dead who they are not or the Bible Matthew 27 52 53 and the grave were opened and many bodies of the saints which slept arose you see the Bible describing the saint death as a slept and came out of the, after his resurrection and went into the holy city and appeared into many so the bible here is speaking about saints who they are resurrected and they are not dead if those are saints exist before jesus they are resurrected why the messiah will not resurrect his apostles who died for his sake who got killed for his sake you know what i'm saying guys hold on i don't know what's happening <clears throat> i hope my <clears throat> hold on let us see what's happening here something wrong with the broadcast Let us fix it. The devil don't want me to talk. In this case, the devil is you too. <laughs> anyway, so as you see, the Bible says clearly that there is many saints were resurrected in the time of Jesus when he was resurrected from the from the from the tomb. So why the Messiah will not resurrect those who he loved? What is the occasion here of resurrection? It is the resurrection of Jesus? Do you think those who die before Jesus is more valuable than those who die for Jesus after? Like all the murder, all the beloved one, all those who live in the time of Jesus, all his apostle. So it is you who think that people are dead, but it might be the opposite but the Bible at least confirm that there is many Saints are resurrected we do not know their names one by one but the Bible confirmed that so we are not talking to the dead if we say Paul pray for me Peter pray for me because if people would not know their names they are resurrected why Paul and Peter and Luke and Mark they will not be resurrected why the ones who were crucified and been feeding to the lions and tigers will not be resurrected the messiah he said whoever die and believe in me he will live so we are actually alive even though we are dead which means the death of the body is not the death we are talking about we are alive by a spirit 
and those who die for the sake of the Messiah they are murdered they are living by spirit dead by the body and this is what resurrection is about here is uniting the body with the spirit but the spirit never die so ignorance versus logic ignorance versus copy paste And let us say, for the sake of argument, the Catholic, they are doing something wrong and they are praying to the saint. That will make them infidels. Hmm? Let us say, for the sake of argument, this is wrong. Hmm? Is that will make them infidels? They are not praying for those people to worship. They are praying for them, so they will pray for them. The same as they pray to Mary it says Mary they quote what the Bible says pray for us pray for us that's all they are not worshiping Mary and Mary is not their God and not even a single Catholic believe in that if they do then they are the Christians but there is no one in the world can convince me with a lie not a single Catholic believe in such a garbage so stop lying about the Catholic. Sometimes you don't lie, but you copy a lie, and that will make you a liar too. I don't care if you donate to me, you delete your donation, all of you go and take your donation off. If I am a person for sale, the Muslims will buy me from long time. Each time I speak about the Catholic because I refuse to put them down, I refuse to say they are the Christians somebody goes and take off his donation take it please I don't want your dirty money because this is a money mixed with the blood of the Christians the devil made you both kill each other with no mercy following the devil for a long time I am NOT part of such a crime Protestant, Catholic, Orthodox, all are Christians and belong to one Lord. His name is the Messiah. The one who divide you, my friend, is the priest. The priest, the businessmen. They are following Allah as he did in the Quran in chapter 5 verse 14. Don't follow the priest. Be a loving person, a Catholic person. He is my brother in Christ. He loved the Messiah maybe more than me. He is good maybe more than all of us. The Messiah, he said, that from their fruits, you shall know them, not from their names. He will not ask you if you are a Catholic or if you are a Protestant. If you think so, you are a stupid fool. Stop being a foolish person satan loved the vision of the christians and you love satan when you do that i don't want to be catholic i don't want to be protestant i don't want to be orthodox i'm sick of all those names because they bring nothing but division i want to be a follower of a christ do you have a better deal All of you do wrong. Catholic, they repeat the prayer. And Jesus said, don't repeat the prayer. Hail Mary, hail Mary, hail Mary. Uh, once after once after once. What for? Do you think God is deaf? Stop doing that. Protestant, they enter the church and they are wearing short. What kind of a church that church is? This is the house of God. Either you respect it or you leave it. Kissing pictures, making idols, making... This is all is wrong. This is not from the Bible and this is not from the teaching of Christ. All of you do wrong. And when I say all of you, doesn't mean all the Protestants do that, all the Catholic do that, all the Orthodox do that. 
but there is many they do wrong but you think they think still they are following Jesus the fact you might be following Muhammad the faith in Muhammad the child molester you might be a priest but you are a child molester like Muhammad there is many people they take religion as a business and they wear uniform or certain uniform so they can get into your pocket or even to your panty the same as Muhammad Muhammad he want your pocket and he want your panty always some people they love the the, the, the division between the Christians and because of the ignorance and they will not they will not understand that all of this fight between Protestant and Catholic was for one reason it was for politics it is politics filthy men they are fighting over power and there is many good naive Christians went slaughtered for no sin they commit victims of the filthy ones <clears throat> it is possible to wear jeans yeah you can wear jeans but you don't go and wear in short clothes you don't go inside the church and you are you know almost you are going to the beach if you are a male or a female this is the house of God you want to go to the beach go to the beach Imagine you are coming to the house of God. You will meet God. If we say to you, you will meet a Trump, what you will wear? You will put your suit. You will, you know, uh, you are meeting God. And then you are going to go to the church almost wearing no clothes. What kind of belief you have? And what kind of a priest he allowed you to get in? I remember my mother and a bunch of ladies, old women, they stand in the front of the door of the church and any female, you know, especially the young ones, come in with short skirt, they kick her out. Why you are coming to the church with a short skirt? Are you coming for a date? Are you coming for the coffee shop? Are you coming to show your legs like Aisha? The Muslims are the one who lift up the skirt of a female to discover her legs, the same as Omar, he did to examine one of the family of Muhammad females. The church is the house of worship. It is the house of God. It is not a social club. Jesus what what Jesus did what Jesus did when he saw people buying and selling in the church go and see how many churches today including the Protestant including the Catholic including the Orthodox they are buying and selling in the churches anything wrong with carrying the cross my friend carry the cross who is holding you and by the way I am not Sheikh Zakir Naik to ask me can we do that can you do that you have your logic God he gave you your your he gave you give your brain I am we don't we don't play the Muslims games you know like oh it's a Christian Prince can I do that I am not better than you and you are not less than me I'm not smarter than you all the answers is in the Bible and why you cannot wear a cross who said you cannot all those philosophy as an example the uh, the Orthodox they will say to you oh you cannot have Jesus in the cross because he is resurrected a philosophy eh, for him it is wrong no problem I mean it is all, all of those things is silly all those things is silly each one he trying to practice himself as a fashion designer not as a believer so this agree about silly stuff but they don't really focus in the important things the important things that the Catholic they believe in the Father the Son the Holy Spirit they do wrong I do wrong too and you do wrong 
if we cause we do wrong we will not go to heaven then none of us will go to heaven have you ever met somebody don't go and do wrong any one of you here is the person who don't do wrong do you know what I mean all of us we do wrong my friend we are we are sinners don't do what the Jews used to do they throw their rocks at the women who commit sin but they don't want to throw the rocks at the man who commits sin Jesus himself he forgive her and he said to her go and don't do that again Jesus himself forgive the Jews who crucified him let what to God to God if somebody they were wrong the Catholic they pray as you say to Mary don't pray to Mary nobody is forcing you however however the Catholic are reading what the Bible said the Catholic they ask Mary to intercede don't ask Mary for intercession however Mary she intercede in the Bible to make wine and this is in the Bible so do whatever you want the important is one do you believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the resurrection? Do you believe that there is no Savior except the Messiah? Do you believe He is coming back? Do you believe He died in the cross? All of those things you believe in, all of you. So stop your stupid division and fighting, which is helping no one except the enemies of Christ. All of you, you forgot that the Bible says, Who is the Antichrist? Anybody can tell me what the Bible says about the Antichrist? Who is the Antichrist? Who can tell me? Who is the Antichrist? Satan, but what the Bible, the Bible gives us definition. The one who denied the father and the son is that correct? The Antichrist is the one who deny the father and the son. Do the Catholic deny the father and the son? No, do the Protestant deny the father and the son? No, do the Orthodox deny the Father and the Son? No, so none of those are the Antichrist. When we say the Antichrist, we are not talking about a person, we are talking about the people who follow an idea of the Antichrist, which means the Antichrist is somebody deny the Father, the glory of the Father, and the glory of the Son, that the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit is one God. Whoever deny that. Is the Antichrist not the person, but he is an Antichrist. So, always we need to understand that the person who accepts the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit and the crucifixion and the coming of Jesus back. And his first coming and he believed that he is the Alpha and the Omega and his holy name and he is holy and he was exist before he came to this earth and he is the Word of God he is a Christian like me he prayed to the saint he don't pray to the saint regardless if it's correct practice or not that will not make him rejected to be Christian are we clear on that If there is any objection, <laughs> and I want to see after I finish now how many they will go and they will delete their donation. Please go. Each time I speak about the Catholic and the Protestant, 
they go sometimes catholic they delete donate actually there's a guy he's accusing me that i am sponsoring or supporting the protestant i don't care what you think who care i say the truth so i am being attacked by the protestant i am being attacked by the by the catholic because simply both of you and not i'm not saying all both of you those who they are speaking this way they seeking division satan is occupying your heart you are not following the Messiah, my friend. The vision is not from God. The one who brings the vision, he don't have the spirit of God. He is not inspired by the Holy Spirit. Very simple question if we ask ourselves. Do you think that the Messiah will be happy? To see you divided? The answer is no. I don't know how smart you are, but you do not need to be genius to know the answer. So you are dividing the Christians for the sake of who? For the sake of the faithy God of Islam, who said in the Quran with the clear words that he is going to divide us. And this is his mission. This is his mission. And you are helping him in his mission. Thank you very much. Actually, the Muslims, they will go now and they will copy my, my, my video as usual. And they will say, see, here we go. The Christians are fighting. We are not fighting. We are united. And the Messiah make us united. The Muslims will be so happy to see the Christians killing each other. Actually, Turkey, the country which is, exists right now, was destroyed because you Christians were divided. The Muslims were able to take you one by one. Thank for your smart priests and bishops who brought division and destruction for Christians. And until now, this land, which is a Christian land, is controlled by the occupation of the Turkish. You will not be victorious with the Messiah unless you stop division. And you will not be considered to be with the Messiah unless you stop being a foolish, calling each other names, doing exactly what the Muslims do. Look at you, look at you. Look at you and look at the Muslims, Shia, Sunni, you know, Kuffar, you know, this is the same, the same garbage. Oh, the Catholic are Kuffar, they are not Christians. <laughs> Who said so? And then the Catholic priest, he would say, Oh, the Protestant, oh, they are following the devil. What a big fat liar. The Protestant, they follow the devil, you filthy scumbag. Don't let them fool you. There is false teachers everywhere. Don't judge the Catholic by some donkeys and don't ju judge the Protestants by some donkeys. Isn't it James White who is a Protestant who says Islam is not ISIS? Well, he is a Protestant. This guy, he hate the Catholic to death. He will not hesitate to defend Islam and attack the Catholic any second. But he is a Protestant. Once I was kicked out of a Catholic church, why I was kicked out somebody invited me and said today they have a topic I think you will be interested I said what is the topic he said they will talk about Islam I said, okay good let us go and then there is a bishop and the idiot the donkey the mule starts saying we and the Muslims worship the same God what what Muhammad is from Ishmael. What? The guy is sitting next to me, the one who invited me. He was holding me from my clothes and hold, and then he hold my arm saying, because I'm trying to stand up. I cannot take it no more. 
but this guy he told me please don't do anything okay please come on sit down sit, sit down sit down i cannot take it no more i mean i cannot i cannot just leave me so i stood up and i said to him do you have any proof of what you said he said sit down please it's not time for a question now i said i'm not asking you questions i am accusing you to be a liar Who said I'm asking you questions? Everybody in the church look at me and everybody looking at the bishop to see what he will say. He said, please, please sit down. It's not time for a question. I said, I'm not asking you questions. You are a liar. How you say we worship the same God? Isn't it the Bible says the one who denied the father, the son is an antichrist? Do we have a Bible? Do we have in the Bible God? His name is Allah. Do we have somebody? Who his name is Muhammad? Do we believe in kissing black stone? Do we believe in the Kaaba? And how Muhammad is from Ishmael? Can you show me the reference from the Bible? Then two guys they came and they hold me from my arms, and you know they were they were pushing me and like I was sliding in the ice, you know. What I mean, <laughs> they were sliding me, and, but I will not, I don't care. You start saying the truth, they will not kick you out. But this is not the Catholic. This is a filthy bishop teaching lies. And I can show you tons of videos of a stupid Protestant doing the same. Bringing Muslims to their churches to teach their children how to pray to Allah. Do you know what I'm saying? This is have nothing to do with the Catholic. This is a donkey misleading his people. The same as many donkeys who claim to be priests misleading the Protestant. And the same ones who mislead in you, you will notice. You will notice something amazing. The same one who mislead you about not to love the Catholic if you are a Protestant or not to love the Protestant if you are a Catholic is the same one who prays Islam and try to invite Islam into his city and Islam to into his church and even trying to bring Muslims to teach about Islam in their churches. Did you ask yourself why those people they invite a Muslim to the church to teach about Islam but they will not invite a Catholic to teach about what Catholic believe? Did you ask yourself why they invite a Muslim to teach in a Catholic church but they will not invite a Protestant to teach what the Protestant believe? Guys, you understand what I'm saying? How come a Muslim is welcome in those churches, but they will not accept a Catholic or a Protestant to be in the stage? The Arabic word for God, there's many words. But there's no Arabic word actually. This is all is Aramaic. Rab, Rabbi, Rabbi, Rabbi. Arabic is not a language by itself. Arabic is a language, mix of languages, and it's born most of it of the Aramaic. So let us make it clear. Anyone he bring the vision. To us as a Christians and when I say Christian, I don't mean a Protestant. I don't mean Catholic I don't mean Orthodox. I mean whoever believe in the Messiah as the Bible call us. We are Christians all of us The vision is from the devil and it's not for you Be united by the Messiah don't be united with the devil by a priest priests are businessmen each one of them want you to come to his church not to go to the other church so he can collect your donation I am NOT a priest and please if you don't like me to unite the Christians together go and take your donation I don't want it I am NOT for sale and nobody can buy me the Muslims they offer me a lot of money actually there's a there's a person his name is a child of God many of you knows him from Paltok he have a recording when the Muslims offer me loud and clear to pay me a lot of money just to stop exposing Islam. And they aren't even ashamed about it. 
there's nothing is called Unitarian and you know that any, anyone don't believe in the Trinity he is no Christian anyone who don't believe in the Trinity he is no Christian this is a cult that is not Christian full stop that's it we do not need even to discuss we just said who is the Antichrist who is the Antichrist is the one who deny the father and the son right so if you are a person who don't believe in the Trinity you just deny the father and the son simple All those, all those cults, they came for a reason, like Jehovah's Witnesses, Mormonism, Islam, etc. Those, they came for a reason, and the reason is to divide you and to take you away from the right belief. As simple as that. Who is the liar? But he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ he is Antichrist that he denies the father and the son did you see it are we clear so the Catholic believe in the father and the son and the Holy Spirit they believe in the crucifixion of Jesus they believe that he is coming back they believe that he is our Lord he is our Savior they believe they are Christians same as the Protestant same as the Orthodox if you are a person don't believe in this you are no Christian if you are a Jehovah's Witnesses who believe that Jesus was an angel and he is just a, a God <laughs> you know you are you are not a Christian if you are a Mormon who believe in blah 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 you know shish kebab falafel like Islam you are not a, have nothing to do with Christians Christianity there is millions of cults There is a major belief if you go out of it, you are out of a Christianity. Having a Pope will not make you not a Christian. No, will not. The Pope is a leader. You can now have a church and say, I want to vote for this person to be my leader. And actually, he was chosen by voting too have nothing to do with him being you know like some there is some names are not right to be used like holy father who is holy nobody is holy give me a break as I say there is some practice I don't agree with some titles are given just for the sake of politics stupid titles but my brothers and sisters are anyone who believe in the Messiah who die in the cross the father the son the Holy Spirit the resurrection and the coming of Christ and the salvation of Christ and he is the only one can forgive our sin some people they will say to you that Pope he forgives sin that's false Pope himself he confess for his sin every Sunday the Bible is so clear said no one is good but God even Jesus when a man he said to him you are good Jesus said to him why you say I'm good when only God is good which means Jesus is saying to him how you know I am the good God so I don't want I don't want to see stupid division between the Christians all of you will be judged by your fruits not by a church you go to if you think a church name will save you you are just a fool you can be a Protestant, you can be a Catholic, and you can be whatever you are, and still you can go to hell, for you are not doing the fruits of the Messiah. There is no extra books of the Bible, my friend. Go and read. Why you, why you guys don't go and read history and re do some search? Books in the Bible simply, there's like, as, as an example, if I say, I'm going to divide the book of uh, uh, the, the four gospel. I will divide the gospel of Luke to three books. Ah, I made a division to say like I, I made them three chapters. Still, it's the same book. The 
the the books in the in the Catholic Church is the same as it was from the beginning the change happened later when somebody they start arguing about how we divide the books and how we make them the books we make it a chapter some will one some will some some will second so the division happened for a reason and that reason for me is not convincing the four gospels stay as four gospels and they did not divide them to gospels thank god at least they agree in this one and then the other books they decide to uh, I'm going to divide it and then somebody will say to you. Oh, you know what we are going to put there only what is written in Hebrew So it is it is uh, I don't know if you know what it's called the the Byzantine uh, debate Where people de debate just to debate but not to get to a point You know what I mean Do some searching, study. There is tons of articles about this uh, issue. However, I don't agree with following opinion of a man. The Bible is the Bible, and this is the book of God. And anyone want to take a letter from it, he is going to be paid, and he is going to be punished. As simple as that. Same time, if I take, I'm not saying I believe in that, but just to give you an idea. If I say, I am going not to read the Old Testament at all. I will read only the New Testament because the, 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 uh, the disagreement between both is about the Old Testament. If I say I am not going to read even a letter in the Old Testament, is that going to change anything about the Messiah that he is our Savior? Guys, do you understand what I'm saying? If I only read the Old Testament, then I will be missing Christ. But if I only read the New Testament, I will not be missing Christ. For all the Old Testament is to prepare for the coming of Christ. You know what I mean? I'm not saying the Old Testament is not important. No, I'm saying that the Messiah himself is in the New Testament and in the Old Testament. However, the Old Testament is like the same as the airport for the Messiah to land and to bring us the New Testament. So for us as a Christians, we are Christians if we read only the New Testament. If I take all the verses of the Old Testament and I say, okay, I want to put it in a book alone in the shelf. This is the book of God, yes, but I don't want to concentrate in it. I'm going to learn about Jesus from the New Testament. I am a Christian still. Because the Messiah spoke there, he delivered his message directly for us, and all what I need to know is there, and all what I need to believe is there. All the Old Testament is mixed between history of the Jews, kings of the Jews, what happened to the Jews, what the Jews did, etc. But the important for me as a Christian, really, is the Messiah. The important is one, as, as the Messiah himself, he said to Martha. The important is one, but you are busy with many things. So the history of the Jews is not important for me, except it is a preparation for the Messiah. All the book of Genesis is to teach us that the Messiah is coming. If you go to the book of Genesis, chapter number five, there is actually, there's a video in YouTube, I advise you to watch. It's called Hiding Message in the Book of Genesis. Hiding Message in the Book of Genesis by a wonderful man of God. You will see that even the names 
of the sons of Adam is a message about the coming of the Messiah which mean even the book of Genesis is about the Messiah You know what I mean? Everything about one person and the coming of that person. So the New Testament is the deliver message of the Messiah by his by him, himself. The Old Testament is history, is the stories of the Jews, and it is the word of God in the same time. We should be united, not be divided. The enemies of Christ, they will hate to see the Christians one church. All the Bible confirmed that our church is one. And while we are united by the Messiah, not by any name, not by a Protestant bishop or by uh, uh, the Pope, we are united by the name of the Messiah. His glory, His holiness is what we follow. Anything else is deception. Do you know what I mean? Imagine how much anger Muhammad and his Satan will suffer from if we wake up tomorrow all of us and all the Christians agree to be one church again isn't it that will be beautiful hey Sam how are you my brother you want to call me we have our brother here Sam Shamoon is here if you want to call Sam let me know And by the way, if you have a questions about the Bible, I advise you to go to uh, Sam Sh Shamoon. I think more of, most of you know him. He's a wonderful man. Uh, sometime he is short with patient, but you know, all of us we have sometime we lose our patient because he's very passionate about the Bible. And because of that, he sometime, uh, uh, you know, uh, people don't follow. I mean, people don't really. Uh, um, I don't know how to describe it. Like sometimes, because you, because I think Sam Shamoon, he thinks sometimes that everybody he, you know, he should go up to the, his level. You know, he's a smart man, and he expect us all to be going up, and he wants you to be going up. You know, but that is very hard. But is he a wonderful teacher? Yes, he is a wonderful teacher. I advise you to go if you have a questions. Go and join his uh, uh, his uh, broadcast, and you will learn a lot from him. And you will notice that the enemies of Christ, they attack anyone who is teaching the word of God, and he don't want to divide the Christians. The second you stand against the vision, it is the same second the doors of hell will open on you and everybody will hate you. You will find yourself an enemy for everybody. You will find Catholic people calling you names. You will find Protestant people calling you names. You will find everybody is against you. Why? Because simply you don't want the devil to divide us the devil is unhappy and he have a plan do we have any uh, any question here yesterday by the way i made a video about Israel I please if you don't mind you can copy that video or share the link with your friends so more on people people they will see the truth about what's happening right now in Israel because you see the second 
the second you say the truth again or you do the right thing the whole world will go against you because the whole world is corrupt and when I say the corrupt I mean the mind is corrupt the understanding is corrupt the media is corrupt and they are the one who control where and how you think and what do you do next all the medias is trying to lead us into conclusion that Israel is a bad country and they are killing quote unquote the Palestinians and those Palestinians are civilians what they will not tell you that every one of those Palestinians who they call them civilians they want to kill a all the Jews and this is what they believe in their Quran just yesterday where I'm doing my live broadcast somebody from Indonesia told me there's an attack right now as we speak on a police station and guys guess what was the attack a bunch of Abdul attacking a police station by swords you believe it we are in the year 2018 and the Muslims attacking the police by swords This is telling you how mad those people are. The last Sunday, a family of father and mother and four children, most of them they are under the age of 12, 9, 6, 7. They round themselves with bombs and they went in three churches and they explored themselves. This is how satanic, demonic this religion is. Anyway, I hope I cover this topic. Let us make the differences between some churches is kind of a richness sometime, but let us not to make it a division from Satan. All of us, let us be the delicious fruits of God who can do better for humanity. You Christians, you have a duty to be a messenger of the Messiah to everybody around you. You are a Catholic, you are a Protestant, it doesn't matter. What is matter is that time will come and the Messiah will ask you how many people you invite them to Christ. How many people you brought into him, what you did in your life. You spend your time watching TV, you spend your time making money, or you spend your time working for his glory let us all all the Christians Catholic Protestant Orthodox united by the love of Christ not divided by the hate of the devil who he in the Quran said I am going to divide them I am going to spread the hate and enmity between them until the judgment day as we see in front of us in the book of the devil the Quran this is nothing but the book of the devil and this is the plan of the devil in front of your eyes don't follow it whoever spread hate between the Christians he is following Islam this is the plan of Allah in front of your eyes always remind yourself with one thing I will not follow the devil who spread hate I will not hate the Catholic I will not hate the Protestant. I will not hate the Orthodox. All of us, we are brothers and sisters under his name. Let the love of Christ unite you and stay away from the king of hate, which is Muhammad, aka Allah.
And if you are a person who is not satisfied with the way I talk, and you think you don't, you should not support what I do, please go and take your donation off from my page. Each time I speak about this topic, I find that some people they deleted their donation. Well, thank you very much. Let me repeat once and once and again. I am not for sale. You cannot buy me with your dollars. I will not hate the Catholic. I will not hate the Protestant. I will not hate the Orthodox. I will not hate anyone, even if he is a person who denied the Messiah. For my Lord, the Messiah, said, love your enemy. So how about loving my brothers who worship the Messiah and love the Messiah and they spend their life praying to the Messiah. Some they do wrong, I do wrong too. Don't be hypocrite. Who of you is the perfect person who don't commit sin? Who of you, you know, if we talk as an example about fornication, fornication in Christianity is not fornication just by having sex, fornication by eyes. You look at the woman, you wish her, you fornicate. You fornicate with your tongue, you lie. You fornicate by being a hypocrite. The Bible says that the earth committed adultery. Have you ever heard an earth having sex? This is adultery in the Bible is not about sex. Adultery is about you disobeying God. So you commit adultery every day. You disrespect your parents. You committed adultery. You insult them. You regret being their child. You stay away from them. You don't do what Jesus did. I was hungry and you feed me. I was a stranger and you took me in. I was a prisoner and you visited me. If you don't do what the Messiah he asked you to do, you are committing sin every day. Try to be the best you can. And don't claim to be perfect for none of us is perfect and we will not be but the Lord he ordered us to be perfect as our Holy Father be perfect it's a project to work in and because we are not perfect we should understand that we when we discuss me the sinner is talking to you the sinner which mean both of us we have to understand that both of us we are sinners and nobody is better than anyone so the discussion should not lead us into hating each other and division. We should always remember that we are under the umbrella of the Messiah, which is love. So we can discuss, we can agree, we can disagree, but all should be done under the love of the Messiah. Maybe Christian Prince is wrong. Who said that Christian Prince is going to be always right? I'm just like you. I might be wrong. Still, we have to listen and we reject what he say if he is wrong by using the umbrella, which is love. My brother, you are wrong. Okay, explain to me. Don't cast your stones and don't say Catholic are infidels and pagans and don't say the Protestant they will go to hell. That's not true. Whoever believe in me and die will live. This is the word of my Messiah my lord not the word of a bishop we don't go by a bishop we don't go by a priest we don't go by a filthy man his name is muhammad are we good do we have any uh question we will be here again at uh at 4 30 p.m so if you like to join us and remember here i will not allow to divide anyone to divide the christians i don't want here to see somebody saying i'm a catholic i don't care i'm not asking you if you are a catholic everybody will come i don't want to see anyone say i'm a protestant when you come to my chat please forget about what the church you go to remember one thing that you are a follower of christ are we okay with that I don't care what the church you go to. Don't tell me. I am not interested. 
And when somebody asks you, what is your belief? You should say, I'm a Christian. Christian is not the word for the Protestant. Christian is a word mentioned in the Bible for us, the one who follow Jesus. This is your name. Your name is not a Protestant. Your name is not a Catholic. Your name is not an Orthodox. Your name is a Christian, and I am a Christian prince. The word the Christian is what the Bible call us. Do you have a better word to belong to? Do you have a better name to belong to? Do you have a better name than the name of Christ to be proud of? Why my name is not Protestant Prince or Catholic Prince or Orthodox Prince? Because those names are not really our names. Those are from the division. Protestant is from those who protest. I mean, that is not right. They aren't protesting no more. Are they? Catholic was a name. You see, the, the, the Catholic, if you go in history, you will see the Catholic and the Orthodox, they were fighting over a name, which is Orthodox. <laughs> I mean, the, 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 the Satan is amazing sometimes, how, how Satan divides us as a Christians. But it's very normal when when a faith became so huge and contained billions the vision is very normal to happen because satan he will get his way however we can always be united by following few lines of jesus teaching to make it a headline for us love your enemy and forgive and bless those who curse you if you reach that point where you can love your enemy, then you will find that a Catholic person is your brother in Christ, for he believes in Jesus. A Protestant is the same. An Orthodox is the same. All of you, you have one name. All of you believe in the crucifixion, in the cross, in the resurrection. You believe in the Father, the Holy Spirit. You believe that there is no salvation but by Him, and His cross was the way. So what is missing? What is missing is, listening to false bishop and false priest from all those churches teaching us to be divided stay away from them stay away from them are we good so we will be again back at 4:30 who is here from the from far Asia? Who is here from like uh, Philippine, China? Because by the way, Chinese they can still watch YouTube. They use a proxy, you know. Google is not allowed in China. You are in the Philippine, Abdul. Which which territory? Which area? In Japan. I want to go to Japan actually. Yeah, actually I was I was thinking last trip to go to Japan, but I could not make it because the money is limited. You know, the, the traveling in those countries is really expensive. It's not really, it's not, it's not easy. Boracay? You are in Boracay? It's closed Boracay now. All right. Yeah, Boracay is a very beautiful island. And I was, I did a seminar there actually, a very small one. The seminar I did, it was kind of uh, funny. Uh, I was going to an island not far away from Boracay. I met a guy in the boat. And I was reading in my phone in Arabic. So he said to me, are you a Muslim? I said to him loud and clear, <laughs> no, I am not a black stone worshiper. 
you know anyway so we start talking and he was like what he said like put your voice down while you are speaking loud I said okay you know anyway so the guy he said so uh, we talk about what I do etc and he said do you like to make like a I have a smaller group smaller Christian group I can I can we cannot call it a seminar it's just like four or five people do you like to come I said sure their island is not far it's called Boracay and I took the boat and I went there so we we were about six people including me as I remember and then when we started they start texting more friends to come so six then became 12 then became 14 15 more and more people come and we supposed to we will talk only like for an hour you know so we stayed all afternoon you know like all the way to the night all those people who were listening about this cult of Islam including even the waiter because we are we, we met in a restaurant you know uh, the waiter they are like surrounding us around us they are listening to the what we are talking about and everybody is really amazed of how much wrong information they have about the cult of Islam so this is what happened in the island it's called Boracay it's a very beautiful island and the mayor they told me there that the mayor she is a female she married from a Muslim and then she allowed the Muslims to come and open stores all over the beach so the Muslim they took all over the beach area opening those like uh, street stores you know it's not a store it's a street store they take over all the sales and buying is in the island is taken over by the Muslims however uh, the good thing is I heard now they are kicking all all those who they are illegal stores from Boracay and they are you know they are cleaning the city from all the the ones breaking the law like illegal stores etc so the the island will go back to its uh, uh, to what is better and you know like um, most of the time you know you do things you are not expecting it to happen uh, people invite you you don't know that like you go to a place to do something and then you find yourself doing something else as I remember once I went to do a seminar to a church and then after I arrived they told me you know those guys they were ashamed to tell me that they canceled the seminar because they were afraid from the Muslims their area is full of Muslims and none of them text me to say well, don't come they take somebody else and that guy he uh, he uh, you know his phone is broke whatever the reason so he could not receive the message to tell me so I went all the way there I arrive and there's nobody in the church nobody but what's wrong maybe I got the wrong address then I called them I said where is where is everybody they said oh we uh, we send you a text saying that uh, we cannot do it or, really yeah well I came all the way here all the way coming here you know while i was talking in the front of the church a man he approached me and he said how i can help you i said no, nothing really nothing important he said you know because i'm a foreigner i look like a foreigner you know and there is a sign still saying that a seminar for a christian prince so he said to me are you a christian prince i said yes i am he said you know what if this church would don't want to take you you are welcome in my church I said and who are you he said I am the one in charge actually I came here to talk to you and I'm surprised that they have a sign it says Christian Prince uh, a seminar about Islam the uh, Islam in depth uh, so it was the door is closed and when I saw you there is no way I mean you are a foreigner maybe it's you you know I don't know how you look like so he said do you like to come to my church and teach us I said sure why not I went to his church and his church was a three time or four time bigger than the church who they invited me to do the seminar in huge big one the guy who took the microphone in the stage he said guys we have a change in the plan we have a, a guest a special guest his name is a Christian Prince and he gave me the microphone as simple as that so I went to a church to teach that church they closed the doors on me 
the Lord he opened other door and I took a stage bigger and when I finished to go you know people don't want me to leave because people they have more and more and more questions so I slept overnight and I did a seminar the second day the Lord always he opened doors and you do not know how it worked uh, there is some of you trying to invite me to Europe I will be happy to go and if there is any of you in Europe maybe we can meet but you pay for the coffee <laughs> all right yeah uh, if you are from the Philippines if you are from uh, China and you are a secret Christian in China you can contact me still uh, if you are from Malaysia if you are from Singapore if you are I am willing to go and I have no fear from anyone I am willing to go and as you know everything I do is for free which mean especially if you are coming from a Christian church which is poor like you know we need donation right because this is how we cover what what I do but in those poor countries you are not required even to pay for my sandwich nothing the last seminar I did in the Philippines before I before I came back uh, the priest very very wonderful people he asked uh, guys who you know like uh, you know to uh, uh, he's asking people to donate I said no 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 you know so what they decide they give me a, a Bible which is here in the drawer it's called I mean the translation It's called Complete Jewish Bible, an English version by David H. Stern. Hmm. Yeah. So they give it to me, and they said, and here there is a, a presented to Christian prince from etc. The names of the leaders of the church, and uh, at the end they wrote, "May the Lord." It's hard for me to read their handwriting. May the Lord. I don't know what this word here. Your life, so you can assume, and His uh, purpose to to be fulfilled in you. Yeah. So this is the only thing I accepted from this Filipino church. It was uh, a Bible. That's all. I love to serve the poor one and you will not believe it how amazing the poor one are those are really Christians loving pure you know all of us we do sin right it doesn't matter if you are poor or rich but the poor one they have a special something special about them and I feel so close to them uh, each time I speak to poor Christians I feel like I'm so happy it is really it's different from when you go to a church people putting makeup and fancy clothes and expensive cars outside it is totally different it's amazing people they are coming from their you know wearing their flippy flap because this is a poor country not everybody can afford to, to buy a shoe uh, I went to a church I mean it's really really poor very poor people but it was maybe my best time ever I have with Christ himself for I felt so close to the people and they are so close to me I remember uh, one after like we have a break uh, two girls they came to me and one of them she is pushing the other one they are young you know she is pushing her like she's pushing her to talk to me and the other one she is like hesitating to do so anyway she came because I, I was looking I, I saw them I was talking to a person and I saw them so uh, you know she pushed her to talk to me and then she said to me I, I, I want to ask you a question I said yeah sure she said are you Christian uh, are you uh, because in this seminar they did not use my name they did not say Christian Prince you know what I mean 
they did not say this is a Christian prince so she said to me um, are you Christian prince <laughs> I said what? She started you Christian Prince. We we because your voice is the same as a guy in YouTube, you know. And my friend, she told me like you sound like him. So are you? I said yeah, I am. <laughs> are you Christian friends? Absolutely. Anyway, uh, you know, like your voice can can be recognized easy, especially if your voice is not same regular voice uh, so it's very beautiful very nice and you 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 enjoy really being with those people they are very very simple very loving very uh, very beautiful in spirit uh, and you know there is something about the Filipino too the Filipinos are very emotional they are very nice people you know many people they have like a, a, you know like Philippines is a poor country and there's a crimes. Yes, there is a crimes. There's a criminals everywhere But Filipinos in general, they are very wonderful nice friendly people. You will not believe it how friendly they are You go in the street you speak to a Filipino. He called you sir immediately Immediately and even with each other they call you know, they uh, they call it what? Op uh, Oppo Oppo like you know if, if somebody speaking to us someone is an elder he say Oppo, you know, like Po is like uh, um, like the elder one. So always they speak in a form of respect. Very nice and very friendly people. Uh, and everyone, uh, you know, give you a wrong impression about the Filipinos. There is bad everywhere. You know, we cannot deny that. There is there is a scumbags in America. There is criminals in America. There is drug dealers. But America, generally speaking, is wonderful people. People, you walk in the street in America, people, they smile in your face. But you might find an idiot somewhere. I remember once, I I uh, I ate, uh, you know, a fast food, you know, because I don't spend really, I don't want to spend too much money. I have a limited budget. So, uh I have a bad habit. Habit. I, I I put my wallet in the counter when I'm paying, and it looked like I forgot it. So I took my food, uh, the tray, and I sat in the table. And then a girl she came to me and she said, "Sir, what's your name?" I look at her. I said, "What's wrong with this girl?" I said, "Why?" She said, "What's your name?" I said, "Why do you want to know my name?" I said, "Because I need to know." I so I thought, you know. Maybe she is a bad girl. She is maybe a prostitute. Maybe all the bad ideas start coming to your head. Like, what is she? Is, you know, she I said, I don't want to give you my name. Why I want to give you my name? Who are you? You know? And she said, I need to know. I said, Why well, you need to know? And I was looking at the restaurant uh, crew, so to see maybe somebody can kick her out away. You know? And then she said, Because I found something. The second she said I found something, I remember that my wallet. Ah, I felt like something missing. So I I put my hand in my pocket, my wallet. And then she said, tell me your name if you want to have it back. She want to be sure that the, the name in the ID is the same as the name I would say. So I told her my name. She gave me the wallet. And guys, imagine all the money I have for my trip is in my wallet. And not even a single penny is missing. And you can tell this girl, she is a poor girl, you know, a, a $2,000 for a Filipina is like an income of a year. She did not take a penny. Right away when she gave me the wallet, right away she said, "Don't worry, don't worry. I didn't you know nothing is missing." You know. Uh, so I look, and then I I went after her to give her some reward. You know, she started crying. She started saying to me, "And why you think we are? We know we don't do good unless you pay us money." She felt like insulted, and she ran away. So, in every country, and by the way, this is a Catholic girl. Those are Catholic. The majority of the Philippines are Catholic, in case you do not know. But look how wonderful they are. There is bad. There is a trashy. There is garbage everywhere. But the majority of the country are really wonderful, beautiful people. Uh, 
everywhere you go everywhere you go you usually judge based on your experience I might go to a city in New York and then the first day I arrived there I found a guy who is a drug dealer tried to fight with me then I said New York is a trashy city that's not true people they judge by a limited experience don't do that I am sure in the same city in Manila there is maybe thousands of criminals but the city have millions of good people don't judge the millions by the thousands all right do we have any comment so if you want to invite me to your country feel free i will be happy to come over and you do not need to rent for me a fancy hotel and if you are if your country is a poor country i will pay for my hotel well afghanistan the reason i don't go to afghanistan for a very simple reason uh, you see there are certain countries if you go right away right away they knew what you are coming for afghanistan afghanistan no christian allowed to be christian it's, you don't have a community to go with him it is just Muslims so I believe it's not right for Christians to go directly to Afghanistan it's better to speak to them by using the internet because there it's like you are seeking death and not because you are afraid of death but because we have to be smart your mission should continue why you want to end your mission by a bullet when you can save more and more and more people right Which Middle Eastern countries are safest? There is no Middle Eastern country is safe. However, depend what you are going to do there. Safe is a word uh, relative to what you do. If you are a belly dancer, everybody will love you. You might be kidnapped and raped only, but you will be safe. If you are a person preaching about Christ, you might be slaughtered or jailed if you are a person who uh, do uh, fortune reading you know I mean depend what you do depend what you do and depend where you go Israel is against Christian missionaries I don't think this is true maybe you mean some Jews are against Christian missionaries because the Jews they feel they are threatened by the Christians because many of the Jews are converting to Christianity so that's normal behavior but as long our churches is open and we have the freedom to preach and to teach we cannot say that the Jews are not being good to us they might be upset from what you do because you are taking the Jews into Christ uh, but that will not change anything Brazil or Trinidad or again what do you mean uh, the Savior you want you want to you want to invite me there invite me I will go tomorrow no problem no problem I don't know even where is uh, go go Guyana where is Guyana I never heard of it you see how ignorant sometimes we are like a name of a place full of people who don't even hear about it. Yeah, but this is not the law, my friend. This is not the law. If somebody he is a if 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 you are a Jew, if you are a Jew and you've been attacked in a Christian area, some idiot they beat you because you are a Jew. Can you say that all those Christians are the same? You see, we were just talking about we judging by experience. In Israel, the Christians, they have their freedom by law. You can call the police and the police will arrest that guy who did try to hurt you. Is that correct? And this is what is important. Does the law protect you or the law is discriminating you? If the law is discriminating you, then we can say Israel is not a good place for the Christians and they are discriminating us. 
You know what I mean? But in Israel, there is a big, huge universities for Christianity, and people accepting Christ left and right. Churches, ministers, all over. Have you ever heard of a Christian? They want to open a church, and uh, uh, and the uh, and the Israeli government they said no. That's not true. I can go right now to Israel and open like a school for Christians. Why Jews are hated community in the world? That's because you know. You see, there is there is a history of propaganda. Always, always society. Good, you ask this question. Look like we are not going to close today. All right. You know, I'm I'm very good in art, right? <laughs> Forgive me for my art, please. Please forgive me. Hmm? All right. Let us say, let us say you are in a community. Everybody in this community is a blue. And here I'm not talking about uh, like a, a color of racism. No, just listen carefully. This is a community. This is a city. Everybody is a blue. Which means everybody belong to one belief, and then suddenly, there's a guy. He is in red. Hmm? Suddenly, all the eyes will notice you immediately because you are the unique person between them. You are unique because you are a minority and then you are unique because you are rich most of the Jews they do good in business and then jealousy will start because why we are the blue and we are the majority we are not doing good as this one who is red guys do you understand what I'm saying and that jealousy bring propaganda of hate. The Jew is rich, and I am poor, but we are the majority. So right away we assume that because we are the majority, he have no right to be rich. But there is here, there is here between those blue people, many rich people too. Not all the blue people are poor. But because they are blue, blue, we don't notice them. You know what I mean? Because they are blue like me, I don't notice them. So let us say we are in a society, everybody is a Protestant or a Catholic or Christians. And then there is a Jew, and this Jew is having nice, uh, build a nice villa, but there's many of us have nice villas too. But because he's a Jew, we get the attention at him. For he is not one of us. And then jealousy start coming and start to find an excuse about our jealousy. So we say he is a Jew. Oh, the Jews are controlling visa card. Oh, the Jews, they are controlling, uh, you know. Bill Gates is not a Jew. Steve, you know, uh, Job is not a Jew. There's billions, you know, the, the, the most rich person in the world is a Lebanese Christians in Mexico he is not a Jew but because when you are a Jew and you are a little tiny minority in this world jealousy would try to form itself in a way to find excuse to hate you so if I am a Christian and I'm a hateful person oh those are the Jews who killed Jesus well, suddenly the Jesus himself in the cross he forgive the Jew why you wanna why you why you are saying that now why you why you remember this now what this guy have to do with the one who killed Jesus anyway guys do you understand what I'm saying what this guy have to do with the one who killed Jesus let us say the Jews killed Jesus okay but this is not the same guy you know this guy have nothing to do and maybe he is a blonde he is not even from the Middle East so 
the always the jealousy and because you are doing good people try to put you down somehow and now we found a weakness on you you are a Jew you know what I'm saying no no it's not the Roman who killed the Jesus this is not true the Roman is the one who execute but it was the Jews who said his blood in our hand this is what the Bible says however don't worry we are not going to say you are a joke you killed Jesus <laughs> I'm just explaining even Jesus he forgave those who killed him he said father forgive them they do not know what they are doing so if the Messiah himself you forgive the Jews who killed him who am I to say they are not forgiven and obviously the Messiah he knew that someone he is an idiot or evil he will try to use what happened at that time maybe to slaughter the Jews this is why Jesus he said in the cross forgive them father that's mean Jesus he loved the Jews and he don't want them to be under the threat or any penalty from anyone for he himself he forgive them for what happened so the story is solved it's over but I am telling you why the society always accuse the minority this is the same happening for a Christian in the Middle East as an example in Egypt in Egypt the Christians are 10 percent or maybe 15 percent you know depend in that in the in the honesty of the government there 10 percent Christians all right here's a guy his name Soros I'm not sure how he pronounced his name in English but let us try that's as so 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 Waris Soros Soros not not George Soros by the way uh, this is a Christian Egyptian he is very rich he he, he owned I think maybe six billion seven billion something like this so all the Muslims they hate him to death for very simple reason and they claim that the Christians in Egypt they control the business they control everything this is their land this is their land the Muslims are the one who occupy their land but now you became a minority and now they try to find an excuse to hate you so they do the same as they do to the Jew so they spread propaganda that the Christians are controlling the country but there is many Muslims who own billions too Who is the Prince Al Walid ibn Talal? Who have share in city in most of the city land is a bank is owned by him, uh, uh, Fox News, uh, uh, you know he have shares everywhere, big shares. But Muslims will not say a Muslim controlling Christian businesses. So this mentality about Christian about the Jew. Is about when you are a minority and there is somebody is jealous from you they try to find a reason to put you down that can be done by Christians that can be done by uh, uh, Muslims that can be done by enemy but this is any anyone but this is not right if a person is a Jew he's rich good for him so what what does this have to do with him being a Jew the owner of Facebook, he hate Israel, obviously. He keep attacking Israel. And he is a Jew. George Soros, he hate Israel to death. And he is one of the most rich people in this earth as a Jew. So this is a real reason behind this I believe it's jealousy it is not something real and then there is some churches they they uh, they uh, they like to teach something against the Jews or let us say to try to give a bad image of the Jews always uh, the same as Muslims they do and sometimes the Jews they give themselves a bad image too to help those people who are trying to teach hate like a Jew like uh, you know uh, this guy what's his name uh, Toriva he called himself rabbi he claimed to be a rabbi Toriva whatever I forgot his name 
Uh, this guy, he is very hypocrite to the Muslims who defend Islam and he attack Christianity. So a Christian, he watch his video. He will be disgusted. And will give him a reason to think bad of the Jews. But I don't agree with that. Everyone should be judged by his fruits. We don't judge the community by a person. Right, when I go, uh, when I when I travel because I am an Arab, they treat me as an Arab, but I am the last one to be worried about to be a terrorist, right? But I mean, what you can do? That's it. You are labeled. You are an Arab. If I go right now to Israel, I assure you, I will be investigated maybe for six, seven hours, and maybe they will not even give me a visa to enter Israel. Why? Because he's an Arab. I don't blame them. I'm labeled. And they have the right to be worried. I mean, they must be stupid if they are not worried about an Arab coming to you to, to, to Israel. You know what I mean? The Sicilian myth mafia. Islam is the is Islam is the founder of the mafia. You see that yes, somebody is asking about the mafia. You see what the mafias do the mafia they ask you for money to protect you protect you from who somebody is asking about the mafia they ask you for money to protect you from them from mafia ask for money to protect you from them all right that's exactly Islam. Chapter 9, verse number 29. And the mafia did not do that until Islam they invade some territories in Europe. And they learned from the Arab Muslims what mafia is about. So when the Arab left, who were forcing money, on all the stores all the businesses all the family you have to pay if you want to live so the bad criminals they took over the business so the one who started the mafia the, the word by the way the word mafia is not a bad word the word mafia as i understand i'm not an italian yet i know how to say pizza you know hey tony bring us some pizza Mm, baroni. Yeah, but this doesn't mean I'm Italian. I am not an expert in the history of Italy But as I know That the word mafia is a word mean family It is not a bad word But when the criminals they made the business a family business That is what is called mafia today All right, and they carry what the Arab Muslims established before them, which is a mafia business. Muhammad is the biggest mafia leader. He in the in the Quran who said, "Fight those who don't believe in Allah or the last days, from the Christians and the Jews until they pay the jizya." The Muslim they try to lie to you and says jizya is a tax. What this is this is this is a penalty. To survive this is a penalty to survive which means because if you don't pay it you, you, you die you don't go to jail this is not a tax and you are paying that because you don't join a religion not because you are a citizen you are not a citizen in Islamic State a Christian and a Jew is not considered as a citizen he is from the people of the dhimma which means you are not even a second or third hand citizen and you have to pay it with humiliation and being subdued. All right? It is a protection money. You are right. This is a chapter 9, verse number 29. And you can go and read the Islamic interpretation for this verse. So you will not be, uh, the Muslim, they will not say to you, oh, you are getting wrong information, my friend. You have to read the scholars what they say about that. Okay, let's go and see the scholars. The scholars assure us 
that this is a protection money pay or die as simple as that pay or die this is tafsir ibn kathir as you see and here he explained to you and feel themselves subdued this i mean the, the uh, this will be your uh, compensations for the closed market etc blah 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 from the people of the book they have whatever they earned you have they have to pay you he continue here saying fight against those who believe not in Allah nor the last day so what is the purpose of this war just because you don't believe they are trying to force Islam on you so either you convert or you die or you pay so the option of pain is just to not to kill you and then until they pay the jizya with willing sub submission and feel themselves subdued which means you have to be humiliated you have to be disrespected this is not about paying tax i pay tax i am not being disrespected this is a right tax you see when you pay tax in a state they give you a return what is the return here are you an equal citizen for the Muslims? No. Can you be leader leader in this society? No. Can you be a judge in that society? No. You cannot. You cannot be anything. You are no one. You are just a Christian. Everybody can spat at your face. Therefore, when the people of the Scripture disbelieve in Muhammad, they had no beneficial faith in any messenger or what messenger brought. Rather, they follow their religion because this is confirmed in their idea, lost, etc. So it's all of it. It's an insult to the Christians. And then here he continues saying, explain why we should fight, well, Muslims should fight the Christians and kill them. And then, continue down. Let us show you. Paying jizya is a sign of kufr and disgrace. It's not a tax. It's a sign of disgrace. Jizya is a penalty of disgrace until they pay the jizya if they don't choose to embrace Islam so what what is the reason you pay the jizya because you refuse to embrace Islam and that is bad very bad willing submission and defeat do you see it so the Muslim they believe not only they have to make you pay the jizya they have to humiliate you feel themselves subdued disgraced humiliated etc Therefore, Muslims are not allowed to honor the people of the Dhimma or elevate them above the Muslims, for they are miserable, disgraced, humiliated. Muslim recorded from Abu Huraira, the Prophet said, what the Prophet said, look at the scumbag Muhammad. Don't initiate salam to the Jews and the Christians, and if you meet any of them in the road, force them to the most narrowest alley. What does that mean? A Muslim been ordered by Muhammad to humiliate you when he see you in the street, and he have to force you to walk in the sewage. So the mafia are not evil the same as Islam. They are a lot better. All what the mafia want is your money. Islam want your money and want to humiliate you and want to kill you. Mafia is a product of Islam. The European, they learn it from the Muslims after they occupy a big part of Europe. For those who do not know, maybe some people do not know that the Muslims almost took half of Europe, even if not more. All those countries go on Greek, Romania, Bulgaria, you know, you name it, all those countries, they were occupied. You know, they surrounded Malta, Italy. So the Muslims almost, they took over Europe. And that was what the Catholic did. They are the one who fought them and protect us from this cult. This is why you see many people, they speak against the crusade. And behind the speaking against the crusade, that because they are Catholic. But the fact the crusade saved Europe. If not the crusade, all of Europe right now will be a Muslim mafia land. So thank you crusade We appreciate you When you are a Christian and you attack the crusade you are being a foolish person 
the crusade did not happen for 600 years after Christ never happened it happened after the Muslims attack us and they took our land it was not the crusade who attacked the Muslims and this is what they try to present to you in false stupid movies full of lies praising the hero Salah al-Din and making this the crusade look like a bunch of criminals it is the crusade who gave you the freedom today in America because if the crusade did not defend Europe at that time America would be a Muslim country too Australia Canada you name it this is why if you are a Christian you should be appreciating those heroes who defend Europe as a crusader actually there's a video I advise you to watch it's called I think a crusader how the crusade saved Europe how the crusade saved Europe you can search it in YouTube and this is what the Muslims until now ISIS what they say if you go and see ISIS they will say to you they have a they have a flag in the top of the Vatican why because it's a dream it's the dream of ISIS to kill all the Catholic they hate the Catholic to death you see that the, the, the Muslim terrorists they consider Christianity is the Catholic the rest are not a threat the rest are nothing for them if they can conquer the Catholic they conquer a Christianity and it's over this is why all of us we should be united for the enemy he want us all and will not spare any of you it doesn't matter really what is your name Anyway, uh, should guys should should I should I do broadcast again at four thirty? I mean, it's not worth it. <laughs> I thought I'm going to make a video for fifteen minutes. You believe it? <laughs> fifteen minutes. You're right. <laughs> That's amazing. Fifteen minutes became three hours. How for how long we are here now? Oh man. All right. imagine imagine if somebody hear my video from the beginning saying okay guys I'm going to make a short video and then he continue and this guy he continue for three hours he will say this guy is crazy he just said short video in the beginning how you say short video it's like sound like Muhammad Muhammad he say something he do something and here we go Christian Prince he say this is short video uh, guys I'm not going to make it long okay this is a short video just to answer about the Catholic anyway go we are three hours talking I mean how short that <laughs> That's very short. Oh boy. Okay, okay. Do we have any Abdul? Have any comment? Anyone? Nobody? I am a liar. Why am I a liar? Hellenic, why? What I did, what I did. Can you? Can you can you give us some of your wisdom guys do you like to know why I'm a liar did that sound like a Muslim uh, uh, okay this guy maybe he's being sarcastic or you know okay no problem I thought he is he mean it all right guys anybody can hear my my stomach is talking I think this is Gabriel I think Jibril is talking to me Jibril not Gabriel even the most even the name of the angel of Muhammad is wrong Jibreel who's Jibreel Jibreel hmm. any Abdul you can't hear my stomach talking uh, I think it's uh, the voice of Allah Should I, get, should I get the microphone closer? 
Thank God my microphone is not sensitive. Yeah, I get a dish of wisdom. The only prophet who receive his wisdom in dishes is Muhammad. The only prophet who receive his faith in dishes is Muhammad. I mean, what do you want more? Prove that he is a prophet of God. Even even faith come in dishes. Here's the hammer. What is your question, my friend? What is your question? There is a delay. You say, what is the question? Is going to take a time for him to hear it. It depends where he live. Kufait Muhammad he ate al Kufait, which is a shish kebab. And he claimed after he get, ate it, he got the power of 40 men. There is a church in Arabia? I don't think so. I don't think so. But I think maybe they made an agreement that they will give some freedom for, for uh, Christians to worship in their houses. Which means they, uh, they will let the Christians celebrate like Christmas, uh, house service, you know. In the Quran it says we created well the Muslims they say that when the Quran says we created Allah is speaking about himself as a majesty like a king however that that is very funny because Allah is trying to copy a king speaking the language of a king saying we but he is one so that is really not right and to answer this to get the Abdul busted with the we thing we go here in chapter 21 verse number 17 it says if I like to take Allah is talking if I like to take a partner we will take it from ourselves." Do you see it? You can change the translation if you don't like it. Let us say Yusuf Ali. Here the translation is false. It says nearest to us. It doesn't say that. It says ourself. We go to Mahsan Khan. Muhsin Khan, he gave it as from us. From us. Okay. If Allah is one, and us here always mean in the Quran, His Majesty, how Allah will take a partner from us? And that partner is a female wife. You know what I mean? He will take a partner now. He cannot be partnering with himself. That would be funny. Hey guys, let me tell you, I decide to make a corporation between me and Christian Prince. But aren't you Christian Prince? So here he's talking about taking a partner, and that partner should be someone else, but he says it from us. So how the Muslims can answer that? They cannot. The answer for that is very simple: Allah knows best. Shish kebab falafel, hummus. That is Islam. The second you ask serious question, the Muslims are in trouble. How Allah is going to be taking a partner from us? And actually, the word ladunna, it's not just us, it is from my kind. Like my, my ladun is my children's, my blood. If you go to the interpretation, so the Muslims will not say we are making things up. If we go here, <clears throat> you will see things is get even more horrible. This is Tafsir al in one of their biggest scholars. 
It says, had we desire to find the version in which provide the version in the way of a partner or a child. So Allah is thinking if you want to take a partner, which is a wife or a child, we would have found it with ourselves. Like who is that ourself? Ourself. Who Allah is calling ourself? Look at this. The beautiful eyed huris, but the huris supposed they are human. So ourself is the beautiful women or the angels. That's mean the beautiful eyed women and the angels, they are from the same kind of Allah. You see it? And what Allah here is saying, if you want to have sex, because the word lahu, this word here, the word lahu, is a word mean women in the language of the Arab. It is to insult women, actually. Lahu mean fun. Lahu, and the word lahu mean fun. So they call women fun. Because supposedly she is created just for fun, according to them. So Allah is saying, if you want to take a lahu, which is a woman for fun, hmm, as a partner, we will take it. This is why he is mentioning the beautiful eyed version who their vagina never been used, the huris. And Allah, he called them from ourself. So the women with this beautiful vagina, which has never been touched, are the kind of Allah. Why? Because their vagina is special. And here we ask ourselves, if Allah is saying, it is possible for him to have sex with women who they are the virgins in heaven, then we need to ask ourselves how Allah can have sex if he don't have a penis. Because the second is saying, if we want to take, it means it's possible. The one is saying, can we contact you? My friend, always you can contact me, no problem. You can contact me in Skype or you can contact me in battery on uh, uh, website, which is, let it put it in the screen. But be sure, please don't contact me for something is not important. If you have a question, ask me here. We are here. So the God of Islam confirmed to us something very important that us does not mean himself. Us is him plus others who they are from the same kind. If I say us, I mean, I don't mean my cat and my dog and my goat. Is that correct, guys? When I say us, I'm talking about people who they are like me. I am a human. I say us, I mean that they are a human like me. And they are those people they are considered like from my maybe family my clan whatever so when he say from us ourselves he is not talking about them as from different kind he is talking about them as part of his self and that is our so it cannot be one it can't be even two it had to be three and more from ourself and then he tell us who are they those ourselves the huris and the angels and what allah will do with the huris and the angels he is going to have sex with them all right my friend crystal thank you if you have a question, you can ask me here right now so everybody can get the benefit if you want. Do we have any Muslim here? <laughs> okay, we can talk about Al Aqsa story maybe in different video. Uh, because then we will show you pictures, we show you history, and we show you some legions which is connected to that. But just to make it simple. Do you remember Muhammad? He said that he went to the seven heaven 11 and he came back to Jerusalem. You remember the story? Well, Muhammad, he went to the seven heaven, which is seven 11 in the top of a flying mule. And by the way, this is very normal for us Arab to fly in the top of a flying mule. It happened to me all the time, all the time. Like now, I want to go 
Like last time I went to China, I did not take airplane. I took a flying mule. Very sexy, beautiful, and it was white. <laughs> we don't try the black things, you know. <laughs> anyway, when Muhammad he went to the seven heaven, according to his story, which the Muslims believe strongly, he went up, and this is heaven, and then he went down. And he did not go to Mecca, he went to Jerusalem. Let us, I'm trying to write the word Jerusalem here. Let us make it J. All right. He went to Jerusalem, and supposedly the Muslim they say that he went to where it is Al Aqsa today. Some other Muslim they have they don't agree, they say in different look, but anyway, but this is what they think. In the legions of the Jews, there is there is something is called you heard of the of the dome of the rock. The dome of the rock or the rock mosque. Hmm? I'm sure you know it, right? Supposedly in that place there is a rock and that rock is unique somehow even the Muslim they believe it is a flying in the top of the ground Some of the Muslims or a big number of them they believe that when Muhammad he came down he landed in the top of that rock However, the story is farther bigger than this in the legion of the Jews, the Jews believed as a legion, not from the book. Legion can be found in the book of the Talmud, you know, stupid stories. That when God, he made the flood of Noah, here there was a Tanur. Tanur is a hole in the mud where fire come from. Or water and this is how the flood was coming out when God decided to stop the flood he put this rock in the top of this hole and the Muslims adopt that story now why why Muhammad he came to that location Muhammad when he came to the location like now I caught I, I showed you that Muhammad he came from heaven down to earth as I showed you here I draw it like this right the fact Muhammad according to the story he did not come from above he came from underneath let us draw that he came from here and his head came out with the horse or the, the flying mule why is that based on the Islamic story Muhammad when he went to heaven there was a tree it's called the Luta tree and this tree is so huge you can walk underneath of it for 100 years under the shadow of one branch Muhammad he came from under the tree under the tree there is four rivers Two of them are visible and two of them are invisible. The visible ones is the Nile and the Euphrates. However, from those rivers, God made the flood of Noah and the water come from this area. Which means there is a tunnel between heaven and that area. And heaven in Islam is nothing but a fiction or collection of stories taking some of it from the Jews and some of it from other people too. So when Muhammad, he came back to the earth, he did not fly as some people think. Muhammad, he went inside. Let us make, our, make it red. Muhammad, he went back inside. Where he came from, he came from here, under the under the tree. So he went under the tree, and under the tree there's a ground. 
this is a ground here so still we are not really in a sky this is a ground which mean in the Islamic heaven somehow this heaven is connected to the earth by a physical ground tunnel let us say like a sewage when we make the uh, the second video I will speak in details all right Are we okay with that? Because that will really need uh, to show reference. I, I'm not going to finish it like that, you know, just I just giving you an idea what they believe. So when we make the second video, we'll go in details, we'll show a reference, and please take notes, you know, and download the videos because later, sooner or later, you will try to find out uh, some reference and you don't find them. And then you ask me, can you, you know, I receive tons of emails every day saying, can you give me this, you said that in the video, why you don't save it? Why you don't save it? I cannot just keep people, you know, us, you know, answering people about. Uh, you want, you want, you want me to? Okay, guys, we are going to open a class about a drawing. All right, I was the worst in drawing in the classroom. I believe, uh, guys. I, once I have a, I have a French teacher. She's a female. She asked us to to draw an apple, and I am, I was drawing an apple, honest to God. And each time I draw the apple, she come and she hold me from my ear. You know, I was like a little mice, you know, and she squeezed it. You know, all days you can do that. Not like now. If as a teacher, she do that, she they will kick her out. So she squeezed my ear as a penalty. And I don't know why. I'm drawing the apple. I mean, what's wrong with her? She doesn't speak Arabic. I have no idea what she is saying. I'm just a child. I was maybe like, I don't know, eight years old. But I remember this story very well because she really made me upset. And I am drawing an apple, and the apple, my my apple, it looked the same as the apple next to me. I mean, I look at him like is his apple is better. <laughs> and at the end, I told my mom, oh, you know, this uh, teacher she is doing this to me. So my mom she asked her why. She told her he is drawing the apple from right to left. You know, in Arabic, in Arabic, we write from right to left. So she is upset from me, but she don't. She did not tell me anything. I did not. She didn't say to me, you know, like right. And she don't. I don't understand. So you have to draw it from left to right. So the purpose is to learn how to start writing from left to right, the same as you do in English. It's the same as in French. All right. So the poor me, I was punished for drawing the apple from right to left, and I have no idea. I keep drawing it, and I keep being punished uh, anyway uh, this is why some teachers are worst and some teachers are best a teacher who cannot deliver his message obviously he's not doing a good job All right especially when you speak to children don't don't assume that a child he know what you are talking about you know and not only me, by the way, she was squeezing the ear of everybody. All the children's like us, you know, in that class, she's squeezing them. But the guy next to me, she was not squeezing him. Why? Because he's left handed and he's doing it left anyway. <laughs> he's left handed. I was looking like, what, what the point, man? Why is she is doing th this guy? He uses left hand anyway, and he draw always when he draw, he go from left. Anyway. Oh boy, do we have any Abdul? Uh, by the way, if you want to take my drawing and put it in the museum, I have no problem with that. But just be sure, please, let me add my signature there. Let me add my Arabian signature. Hold on. I will put the signature in the... This is just my first name. Okay. Now we move to the second name. Okay. This is the second name. 
Now we have to add an Arabic comma. Okay, this is the comma now. We are done with the comma. And now we have to add the word, like before my grandfather name, I have to add the word Mr. Okay, we are done with the word mister. Almost done, almost done. All right. Man, what happened to my keyboard? It's typing by itself. I'm stuck. Like, stop. Something wrong. <laughs> the program is not responding. <laughs> Should I read Quran? What happened? It's a miracle. Unbelievable. Look, this guy. Yeah, he's, he's, the program collapsed. He could not take my coma. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, you know, in the Middle East, the first time every year when we have news, like in, in, when, the, when the classes start, the teacher come in the classroom. He don't talk about anything. Everyone introduce himself. So you stand up, you say your name. All right, and it is the most boring, stupid hour in the year because we don't have one teacher, we have teachers for a subject, and we have to repeat the same thing the whole day. And guys, those Middle Eastern guys, our name is like a train Muhammad Hassan Ahmed Ali Balazio Zaziza Zaziza Zaziza. Like, like, come on, nobody is even listening. The, the teacher himself, by the time you finish saying your name, he forgot what you said. But we have to do it. Yeah. So when it's my turn to say my name, I stand, I say my name, just one one word, and I sit down. Everybody look at me like what happened? <laughs> what happened? What is the rest of his name? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you the rest. I mean, who care? You know, you want to check it out, check it out in your papers. All right. Anyway, guys. Uh, I think today I'm not going to do live broadcast at 4:30 because already we are we are here for many hours. But tomorrow we will be here again at 4:30. So be with us, and I hope we did not offend some people who like to hate each other. I love everybody. Catholic is my brothers and sisters in Christ. Protestants are my brothers and sisters in Christ, and Orthodox are my brothers and sisters in Christ. Hate no one, love each other, for this is the message of your Lord, the Messiah. And whoever don't belong to the kingdom of love and the family of love, he don't belong to the God of love, that is my Lord. If you cannot love your brother in Christ, who worship Christ, who love a Christ, who is willing to die for the sake of a Christ, who you will love? His name is a Catholic, his name is a Protestant, his name is an Orthodox, that is not a name given by Jesus. Our name is a Christians. We belong to Christ. We have one color. And this color is not about an ethnic. This color is about the fruits of being delicious, the fruit of love. You are black, you are Asian, you are white. All of us, we are the children of God. Christianity is the belief which can destroy racism. Christianity is the belief which can solve even economic problems. When Jesus said, love your enemy, if somebody asks you for your coat, give him your dress, Jesus started and established a society of sharing and giving, not to be a person who love and worship himself, and he want to take everything for himself. Love is the code and the secret of happiness. When you love, you are happy, even though maybe the other person don't love you. Maybe the other person even hate you. When you love, you are a different person. And the love here is not about love of a woman or love of a car or love. This is different love. You love everybody. You have no hatred. 
you are cured from hate you seek no revenge be as the Lord he asked you to be don't be a person who hold himself into into titles I am a Protestant I am an Orthodox I am a Catholic I am all of those but under the umbrella of the Messiah which is the umbrella of love love each other so you deserve the love of the Lord when they asked Jesus how to pray he said pray like this our father art of heaven and right after he said forgive to us the same as we forgive to others which means you will not be worthy to be in the family of Christ unless you are a person who forgive so if someone somewhere he did harm you forgive don't look for hatred and don't look for a reason to hate look for a reason to forgive for this is required by the Messiah to be qualified to be part of his family you don't want to love you don't belong to him not everyone says to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of my father but the one who do the will of my father so you have to do his will and his will is to love your enemy so what about loving our brothers and sisters in Christ this is why when you come to my let us say my home here with me please forget that you are a Catholic forget that you are a Protestant forget that you are an Orthodox remember one thing that you are a follower of a Christ anything else is not welcome we are seeking love not division and love bring unity love make us one family love make us united by his name hate make us divided and we don't deserve to be united with him you cannot be united when you are a person who have hate with the God of love because you don't fit it's like the key the key of the kingdom of God is love if you don't have that key you will not open the door the Messiah said knock at my door I open for you so how you knock at his door by love not by hate so I want to say thank you guys for being here see you tomorrow again at 4 30 until then may the Lord bless and keep you in good health and wealth all of you who love love God loves you Christ is Lord Islam is false I mean to that and see you soon again bye-bye